from Crunch Econometrics. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. We'll be looking at how to run panel data analysis in eViews. But the preamble will be how you can import this longitudinal data into the eViews interface from Excel. On the screen, you can see my Excel data and much of your prep work will be within the Excel interface. The way and manner your data is arranged or your variables are arranged is very important. If not, you will not be able to run any meaningful analysis. Number one, you have to generate IDs for the groups that make up the panel. In my own case, the groups are the countries. I have 141 countries. So I have to generate an ID for each country. Albania is country one, and the 141st country is Zambia, as you can see in this case. So each of them takes an identification number. Secondly, the year must occupy just a column and they must be stacked upon one another. For instance, the time span is from 2000 to 2012 for each of these countries. So I have 13 years for each of them. So as you can see, the years are stacked upon one another per country. So this is exactly what I mean. So make sure you arrange your data in this form. You can use the transpose command in Excel to do this. Again, you can see that the variables occupy a column each, so make sure yours is like that. Make sure your variables are in a single column each, and they are stacked upon one another per country, as you can see in my own example. Because I often want to control for time trends in my analysis, I create time dummies. So you may not create time dummies, but in my own analysis, I always create time dummies. So you can see here, these are the dummy variables for each of the years. So again, the manner in which your data is arranged is very important before you import into the eViews interface. So see the way I've done mine, and you can do yours like that. Then make sure that you only have one worksheet. All your data are inside one worksheet, not two or three. So make sure you compile your data in a single worksheet and arrange them in this form before you can feed into eViews. So here is eViews. We need to import that panel data into the eViews interface before we can begin to run any panel data analysis. To do that, we simply go to File. We click on Import and we select Import from File. When you click on that, it takes you to this directory where you locate the Excel file. So here's my Excel file. I double click on that and it feeds it into this Excel read step one to four. So there are four steps before this file can be converted to an eViews work file. So this is step one. All I need to do here is just simply click next. It takes me to step two. I don't change anything. I don't modify anything. I click next. Again, step three, I simply click next. And this is the final stage, step four. I click finish. So you can see here, all the variables are listed here. As they appear in my Excel file, they are all here one by one. But they won't make any sense to me unless I open them as a group data. So carefully, I'm going to highlight each of them and the order of arrangement is also very, very important. So I start with the CID. You, you click on that, you hold your control key down Next, you click on the country, that was the country name. Then I click on year in that order. Then now I begin to click on the variables. So I click on the dependent variable first. So I have selected all the variables. Now I need to now select the time trend in a sequential order. I now right click. And you can see open here, I open as a group data. Click on that. So you can see just the way the variables were in my Excel file, I have them now in my eViews interface. So I'm going to save it. I give it a name, I call it panel data. Call it any name you like, click OK. This is a simple way by which you can import your panel data into eViews. Here is the panel data as a group file. I double click on that as a group data. I double click on that so you can see. It's a very simple way, but remember you have to do all the prep work within the Excel interface. 
make sure that your data are arranged in this form in this longitudinal form before you now import into eviews thank you for watching subscribe for more videos from crunch econometrics visit our website and our blog send us your comments so that we can improve the quality of our tutorials